I awoke Tuesday morning to an email which I received in my inbox, which read as follows. Dear Rabbi, as we approach Rosh Hashanah, I feel compelled to make a confession. As the diehard skeptic I am, I was ready to honor the new year in my usually resigned and even skeptical way. Yeah, I'll probably pray, go through the robotics, the mechanics, but it's all lip service. Doing it out of guilt, parents, grandparents, the Holocaust, out of some tradition, but mostly superstition. But then, after I saw the miraculous win of the New York Jets over the Buffalo Bills last night, Monday night football game, I began to wonder, are there miracles in this world? Is there an invisible hand? I mean, nobody can deny what happened. The Jets were all losing. There was really no hope. And yet, in the last few minutes, we saw Garrett Wilson make this absurd, logic-defying catch, which basically tied the game. Then it went into overtime. And what happened there? Xavier Gibson returns an unbelievable punt for a touchdown. And the Jets win the game. Is there some higher force at work? Do prayers work? And all this at the heels, no pun intended, of Aaron Rodgers' tragic fall right at the beginning of the game. So, yes, this was just a game. I know there are children dying of cancer and other diseases, innocent people hurt, a world full of problems, and we need many miracles. And in the scheme of things, what is one game compared to the real troubles of this world? But yet, one thing does not negate the other. Maybe this is a wake-up call to remind us of something deeper. That's the email I received. My dear friend, here's my response. The fact of the matter is, let me share with you the timeless words of the great mystic, the founder of the Hasidic movement, the Baal Shem Tov. He says the difference between a miracle and a natural event is only one thing, frequency. If the sun were to rise once in our lifetimes, we'd all come in running out with our families and friends and camera crews and the media attention. Look at this blazing ball in the sky, rising in the horizon. But since it happens every day, every morning, we take it for granted and we look for some other novelty to inspire us. That's human nature. How many miracles are necessary to take one breath? The average adult breathes between 12 and 20 times a minute. But who notices? it? You go, suddenly see someone struggling to breathe on a respirator, you suddenly appreciate the miracle. Every moment a new healthy child is born. Is that not a miracle? A seed fertilizes an egg conceives a cell. One cell splits into two, then into four, and then into eight. And nine months later, a child emerges with over 45 trillion cells. A full, and we grow into an adult with all our beauty and our complexities. With all our neuroses and our nobility. Is that not a miracle? But since again, it happens repeatedly, we don't notice. So miracles abound everywhere if you take the time to look. So yes, indeed, in the last days as we prepare to the high holidays, the miracle win of the Jets is a wake-up call to remind us there are miracles happening. 
Yes, it's just a game, but it reminds us of the true miracles that happen in life. Life is a miracle, my friends. So, the fact is, I remember someone coming to my class, a cynical guy, and I was talking about a tzaddik, a righteous person, a pious, God-fearing person, and he said to me, can a tzaddik fly? And I said, nonchalantly, I said, I don't know if a tzaddik can fly, but you have to remember for a tzaddik, walking on earth is just as miraculous as flying. So let us use this event that has captured the attention of so many people. Yes, of course, the news will change and we'll move on. But let us use it as a real opportunity to enter into the new year for all of us, to look at ourselves, to look at the world, to open our eyes and ears to the miracles that are happening all the time around us. Every step we take, every breath we make, every fiber of existence is brimming with tremendous potential and potency. So if anything, the Jets' improbable win opens us up to see that power within, a, within existence. In the words of Blake, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower, to hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour, to experience the extraordinary in the ordinary. Everyone be blessed. It's a very healthy and successful year.